is Vegan Style. What is up, my plant-loving friends? I need to lay down the law for a topic that is frequently discussed in the plant-based community. I would like to thank BPA123 on YouTube for asking me to comment on this. Hey Jackson, can you talk about vitamin B12? Of course I can talk about vitamin B12, and I'm going to make this short and simple because that's all it needs to be. Vitamin B12 is an annoying little nutrient that all human beings need in order to have proper health, similar to vitamin C and vitamin D and all the other vitamins that we don't synthesize on our own, thus we need from the outside world. Now, vitamin B12 is not created in meat and it's not created in plants. Huh, but I thought that's all we eat. Where does it get created? Vitamin B12 is created in the bacteria of composted soil. So, when a plant in nature lays on the ground and it rains and it mixes with the poop from birds and all these beautiful things and worms in nature, compost is created, which is the fertile soil that allows plants to grow. There are living bacteria, which are not animals or plants, in that soil which contain the B12. So, if you were out in nature as a forager, as an herbivorous human being, eating plants, picking your carrots out of the dirt, um, stuffing your face in the dirt to eat mushrooms, you'd be getting adequate amounts of B12. Now tell me the last time you went to the grocery store, or really even the farmer's market even, and your carrots and beets and turnips and radishes and kale was covered in dirt. It doesn't happen very often because in our society we've figured out that we need to hyper wash our vegetables with high powered, you know, machine uh, faucets in order to take out the bacteria that supposedly gets us sick. And it's true that there are viruses in the bacteria in nature that, may, that we maybe wouldn't want. So it's a health hazard and it's um, stacking the odds for safety to wash our vegetables first. But we also wash away some of the good stuff that we need like vitamin B12. So why do they say that people who eat animal products uh, get adequate amounts of vitamin B12? Well, if you eat a cow, a cow has lived its entire life stuffing its face in the ground, eating grass or even eating corn in a feedlot. But the reason that tons of doctors now are actually encouraging meat eaters and milk drinkers to also intake vitamin B12 as a supplement is because if you're eating factory farm meat and dairy, those cows did never and have never had their faces in rich organic composted soil. They were raised in a feedlot and they eat corn and soy and cattle feed that is provided from them from the farmers genetically modified grown. And there is no adequate amounts of vitamin B12 in nutrient dead soil. So when there's a cow or a chicken or a pig that's in a feedlot being fed genetically modified grain and feed, they're going to have no B12 too and the animal won't have B12, which is why lots of animal eaters also are deficient in B12. So I need to get this clear, that the vegan diet is not imperfect because it doesn't provide you with vitamin B12. It's quite the opposite. You could get adequate amounts of vitamin B12 if you were eating in nature. The problem with vitamin B12 is that we live in an, in an industrialized society. It's not about veganism. It's not about eating meat or eating animal products. It's because we hyperwash our food and we oftentimes don't grow our food in nutrient-rich organic soil. If we were living on farms, if we were eating our own food, if we were digging our hands in the dirt and eating food out of the ground, we would have adequate amounts of vitamin B12, but it's not the world we live in. So the reason that vegans and meat eaters too should take a vitamin B12 supplement has nothing to do with their diet. It has to do with industrialization, okay? Agriculture, whether it's organic or not, is technology. No species on the planet except for human beings really use agriculture, especially in the way we do. It's forms of technology and it's imperfect. So what do you do? You use a supplement. I take a mega food vitamin B12 supplement daily. For the first year of being vegan, I did not take a B12 supplement and I did notice that I was fatigued and I had energy loss. Once I started taking it, I noticed an actual difference that I had way more energy and I was way happier. Um, and, 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 and things like that. So do I think it works? Yes, I actually do. Most vitamin supplements, no, I don't think they work, and you can get them from Whole Foods. Not Whole Foods the market, Whole Foods as in a whole food versus a processed food. So 
I really recommend that you use a vegan B12 supplement if you are on a vegan or even on an animal-based diet because odds are if you're not eating organic foods all the time, you're going to have a B12 deficiency. Also, get your blood work done. If it turns out that you don't have a deficiency, don't take the vitamin. Um, if it turns out you do, it's easy. They're cheap. Just take one. Take it daily. No big deal. So I hope that answers any questions. Subscribe to my channel, brothers and sisters, if you like my content, so I'll keep putting it out there, and make sure to give a thumbs up to my videos. Plant strong. This is Vegan Style.